Uh, so it's approximately uh, 135, I think, yeah, 135. This is the um, joint uh, session of the school board and town council's finance committee meeting. For the record, um, everyone is present, um, ex with exclusion to the school board chair, Donna Beely. She had a previous um, appointment and could not make it today. Uh, today's agenda is a fairly light agenda. There are really three items. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, one of the items, um, which is item number three, which is review the draft of our presentation for the uh, forum, is actually tabled for today only because uh, we've been extremely busy, sick and with cold and everything, and so we're not going to have an opportunity. Um, that actually, that presentation may change based upon some other information that we'll share as part of revisiting the schedule um, uh, for some uh, council issues or council uh, procedural matters. But, uh, the first item on the agenda today is really um, Chris has gone ahead and started. Um, it is purely his work at this point, but I'm in full agreement. We have an op-ed piece that we'll be submitting to our local paper um, papers uh, regarding um, the announcement re um, around the. Um, try not to use the word town hall because that can that's been confusing. It's really the public forum on the finance committee's presentation around our budgets, uh, both the municipal budget and the school budget. Um, I think it's a great start. We do need to uh, kind of tidy up a few items and go through some uh, checks and balances within that, particularly there's a reference in the op-ed regarding um, the email. We had talked about at the last meeting that we wanted to have a dedicated email set up in the town so that we could advertise it and solicit questions mm -hmm. uh, from citizens um, in advance so that we have a nice orderly flow and some fluidity to the presentation, not knowing who will show up and who won't show up, but to give them some... Uh, alternative uh, venues to uh, uh, ask questions or express uh, opinions as part of that. So uh, that is for you to peruse. We'll take any uh, comments and questions. Um, this is the first time you're seeing it, so it might be a little difficult to go through that. Um, I, I did, did notice just a quick style thing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, where is it? Asking for um, questions at there. I said if you do not have access to an email account, no cards will be provided at the high school prior to the event for you to submit the questions prior to the start of it. I think that's too many priors. It should be <laughs> during. Uh, prior during or before. I, I mean, ideally, yeah. I think before we said, but I, obviously at any time, I just would try and... So, uh, so as, what if you can, can, as you're reading through that, if you have suggestions, or recommendations, grammar, style, if you could just write them down and then hand them, give them to Chris and I, we'll be sure to incorporate those and then uh, work with... Uh, the editors of the, the local papers to see if we can get that in, um, make sure it meets their standards and so forth. Yeah, I did just in, uh, I'll give an update. I did talk to Sean Bushway. He's the IT uh, fellow that does the webmaster. Yep. <coughs> Certainly that's possible whether we did, we create a, a specific, unique um, email account for this purpose. That's an option. Someone then needs to obviously monitor it. He mentioned, um, I think his preference would be, he called it a forum. It would be the same sort of way. It would be a highly publicized. People click on it. You would ask them for a couple of bits of information, name and address. I think that might be important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then just give them a text box and allow them to pose a question. The beauty of that, apparently, it populates uh, like a spreadsheet. So mm -hmm. all the questions yeah. go to a yeah. lot, go to a spot, and then we can grab them in okay. bulk rather than <coughs> download each one. So that might be the route we take. That's great. Uh, everybody can see everybody else's questions, so that No, it's specific to the, uh, the one that raises it. So then the, the question would just be, do we need a, is that a, that would be a web address then, not so much an email that we would yeah, go I'll to or a link or something? Okay. I'll work, I'll get back with them in fact, I'll do okay. it today, and whether it's a web address uh, URL or, or um, okay. something else. Um, either way, I think the town and the school on our web pages can uh, get it high profile. Yep. Uh, right. <coughs> so people know where it is and know how to do it <coughs> as easy as possible. Um, anything else around the uh, advertising or, you know, um, getting the word out? What's your timeline? Um, I guess you need to speak to the papers. They all have different publication dates, but... Sure. So the timeline is, um, and this goes into the town hall, um, revisit the schedule. Um, I believe that, and I'll get into the explanation, that we should wait until after the next meeting of the town council, which is May 6th, to then publish... Well, not May 6th. Yeah, that'd be a little... April. April, April, first. April 1st. Okay. Sorry, I should remember that, huh? April Fool's Day. Um, <laughs> April 1st, and so we'd probably be submitting this on April 2nd. Is there any thought, and I don't know if there's a right or wrong, uh, 
publicity too far in advance, people might forget. I don't know if there's a sweet spot. Is it two weeks out or? Well, what I, I don't what know the answer. Yeah, what we can do is in talking. I know that they do public notifications for free, so we can ask them that while we have this op-ed. It'll take another week before it actually gets in there, so it won't be until the second week in April if you think about it. We'll also get it uh, in our in our in the current anyway yeah. in the no section. It's a yeah. dedicated paragraph right. or two. And we can ask them to do an ad <coughs> in the public notification sections in each of the papers every okay. week after. I, I think it's also a good idea, and we have access to some email lists and some some uh, yep. news I information outlets and stuff. I think it's good for us to keep that going. I, I would hope this isn't just a one shot thing. With let's see what comes. We'll. As we said, kind of put a, an effort behind it to try and spread the well, word. Well, we keep beating the drum between now and then. This right. Coming up and right. Yeah. Part of it. And I guess the only other thought I have this is <clears throat> I'm kind of the USA Today soundbite reader. That if it's a lot of text and I have to work, if if I don't get it in the first sentence, I I don't I know there's any opportunity to put something you know like an invitation or some other type of marketing so someone can just open Save up. the date thing or something? Something, yeah. Just something that's you know will catch your eye and we get the context real quickly because I'm not sure I'd weed all the way through mm -hmm. this. We may lose some people so if we yep. have another <coughs> say the date something that's yep. in the paper that just someone can really focus on. As a header you could say you know town budget forum April 29th you yeah, know seven to nine yeah. SHS yep. and then Yep, and then repeat it again, obviously, in the body. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just something that you can that catches your eye so you don't read a lot of text before yep. you get to where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Great. Can I ask a process question? Mm -hmm. We were talking about the prior to, prior to. Mm -hmm. um, is the intent for people to actually be able to turn in a note card before that evening? Or do you mean really prior to the event like that? During the event. Well, we wanted. I, I think the intent was to try and gather as much information and upfront as possible, well, um, but not limit. Come in and fill out a card on, right. on Thursday the week before, and then that card could be put into the pile for the following. I, I, yeah, I think that's that's certainly not. I was trying to avoid. I think, or we were also trying to avoid having people just show up and start writing questions down, and then have to have the moderator ferret through a lot of information in front of the more we can get up front, the better. I, I don't want to. I don't think we wanted to limit it to not allowing them to engage during that time, but. If we could get the bulk of it up front, yeah. and we could structure it better. And I guess my my comment on that then would be perhaps it would be beneficial for people to be invited to come to central office to do that, um, because okay. I'm not sure that the high school staff would have the capacity to be um, as welcoming while they're doing a school day. Yeah, I see your point. I, I was just trying to say we'll have cards there the night of the event also if you wanted to, but you're, you're right, maybe. Not, not to make it confusing, yeah, there's yeah. going to be an opportunity for people yep. to come and fill out a card two days prior. Yep. They could do that at Central Office mm -hmm. instead. Or at the, uh, the front offices here mm -hmm. in the town hall, we can make sure there's cards out there so if somebody has a question, they can write them down. We, we have a box where people can pay, pay their property tax. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not sorry, do, do you guys want to just make suggestions and edits and changes, and then just give give us give it back to us in you know a couple days, two or three days? Or we'll, obviously, we're going to submit April second. I don't know if everybody wants to see it again once we fine tune everything. I mean, if you want that, we can make the corrections and then email <coughs> it out to everybody. Just kind of if we don't hear anything, call it good, or we can do a feedback thing or however you want to do it. But um, maybe within the next couple days, just everybody kind of send their suggestions. You can email me or Sean. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So will you send this electronically? Somebody have this written up electronically? I, I, I do. I have it in Word document. I can I can distribute. Um, okay. I can definitely do that. So we'll send it out. Just so that it is. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, great. Um, the next item is a revisit of the schedule and format for the um, the budget forum, um, which is uh, tentatively scheduled for April 29th. So that's our second document that we have. Um, so I wanted to kind of bring up uh, some issues, or not an issue, but some procedural matters that I have to deal with on the side of the council because of its rules and um, its policies. So um, what happens is that the town, um, under its rules and under uh, notification uh, requirements, um, at the next meeting we'll be presenting an order that is for the, the correct me if I get this wrong, so it's the order that um, schedules the first reading and then the public hearing and the date of that public hearing. Um, there has been some uh, uh, comments that suggest that um, people are becoming confused because of the words uh, town hall meeting and town council meeting and this forum, and so we're trying to separate some of that confusion. And it's been recommended that we may actually not have a public hearing, which is a council meeting function, 
at the end of the presentation on the 29th and that actually that public hearing will be separated and held on May, May 6th would be the next council meeting. It, it could happen that or it could happen coincident right. with the second reading. I wouldn't recommend that. Typically we have a standalone public hearing and then the actual final vote is two weeks later. And that's the schedule of the that's scheduled on the 20th for final action. So the reason for waiting to do the op-ed piece is, is one, through the council's actions to confirm the public hearing date, of it, if it's going to be April 29th or if it will be the May 6th uh, date. So uh, the issue for us, it really doesn't impact the presentation except if the public hearing and the council does not meet that same night and have a public hearing, that actually will free up the 30-minute public session that is currently there. Maybe affording, since I know that some people recommended that a five-minute presentation by the two chairs might be a little difficult. You know, I'm not saying we're going to use another 15 minutes each, but maybe at least another five or ten um, might help Chris and I do our portion of the presentation. So it actually does still work for us. At least I, in my head, it does. I think in some respects it simplifies that night. I, right. I, still, I was concerned with separating Q and A and comments, and I think it could get disjointed if they kind of. Yeah. But I, I think it gives the public a chance to ask questions. We can get back to them with answers that can't be answered immediately. Uh, but then a week later, we're going to have a public hearing, at least on the town side. So from our point of view, it's another opportunity for the public to express uh, a viewpoint, having processed the information that they got at the this this town hall meeting. So I I thought it it was it's a good it's a good way to uh, just further input that we would be receiving from the public. So, but just like, so, just like so I'm clear though, the, the public session is going to be no different than it has been any other year with the podium, three minutes, state your, your name, exactly. your concerns, your comments, and then next. Mm -hmm. And it just deals with the town council, the town municipal budget. So then, so no. I, I thought that's that deals like, with oh, everything. Oh, is it a combined yeah. total? Yeah. Your budget right. includes the school. Well, so then, yeah, our budget includes yeah, it. Okay, it's really the public hearing. Right. Okay. So then when so people <coughs> come up to the podium, sorry, I didn't mean to. No, go ahead. You have the same thought. Do you know where I'm going with this? I think I do. So when people step up to that podium, we've had previous experiences to this, uh, where they come up, they say something that is not true to the facts that have been laid out via the budget, and they say, well, do you know that, you know, your budget's going up, you know, X number of millions of dollars, and nobody ever answers them back. And so basically, they believe what they just said up there to be truth, sit down or leave, and that's it. So then they're out there thinking that they have this case. So is somebody going to answer those people, or is it just a as simply as that? I get up, I've got my three minutes, I say what I want, I sit down, and nobody ever contacts me again concerning the truth or validity of what I just said. Great point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Yeah. Okay. No, well, then, no, I mean, you just, you know, the process by which the council has it through, that can have it at any session. Because someone can get up at the end of the meeting during public comment, make a comment, and it's encumbered really upon any individual person, maybe even the town manager, if they so desire to respond and either correct or confirm what the statement is. But there is no concerted effort to do so. But that's with any part, and it's not just about the budget, I'm saying anything that's said at the podium on any issue, if we, I, run into I, that, we run into that challenge. If I did that in my business, I wouldn't have a business because people want answers to their questions. If they're calling up with the wrong information and I'm yeah. not correcting them and they're going out there putting bids out but, without... But you've seen it. You've been through this before. That's I know. not what public Which comment is. is. Public yeah. comment is for the <laughs> elected body to receive comments from the residents. It's yeah. not intended to be interactive. Yeah. I, I guess slope that it is. It, yeah, I, no, that's, that's, that's no, very clear. No, but to even get back to somebody. I, I, guess, I guess, you know, again, it, it, the proceedings of the council are the council's business. That, that's something that you guys address. You have your rules, your proceedings. You have to do that and, and meet those requirements however they are. Um, I, I, I guess the, you know, the goal, I thought, of this process also was to make it a little bit more interactive and a right. little bit more open to the public. That's not going to be undermined by this process by right. any stretch of the imagination. However, if we're going to, I think moving forward next year, we may want to try and explore combining that process as much as possible for the, for the one express purpose 
of not having multiple dates and multiple opportunities because I think when she diverge like that, I don't know if the effectiveness of this body and this, this work that we're trying to do is going to be effective because we're going to go through and we're going to have our interactions and our communications and we're going to mm -hmm. hash things out and we're going to give opportunities for comment and people to ask questions and interact. But if someone has to choose between going to that forum or going to the public comment session, people are going to ask, which one's most effective for me to get my point across? Mm -hmm. And if people can't do I, I mean, I know we're not spoon feeding people, that's clear, but I think really we want to, th this year it's the first go around, we're feeling our way through this, we're, do, we're, we're making great steps, I think. But I, I think maybe moving forward next year in the process, we look at trying to, to find a way to incorporate as much of that process together as, as we can. That's just my suggestion. So I, I, I honestly, Chris, I don't see the difference from the way we had this set up, separating Q&A and comment. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was just me, but I was thinking that the Q&A was, intent, as it suggests, very interactive. Ask a question, yeah. provide an answer. And then you turn to the comment, you sit there and, and you and you receive it. Yep. It's not yep. interactive. Why is that any different than I think separating it by two weeks? I think the difference is that you have everybody at the same venue at the same time, so it's Very a convenience factor, that you can have people there to either in exchange and have that interaction, then you have people that can get up and express their comment, they're already there. So I, I think that if we ask them to do multiple things, we've, all, we've gone this route before many times. If we ask people to do multiple things, we have a hard enough time getting people to the one public comment session. Right. And we've had this discussion, I'm not talking about spoon feeding people either. I'm just saying if we're gonna try and improve the process, this year, I get it, we're, you know, we're, we're, this is a good first step. I think looking forward it would be nice with a little more time and a little more planning to try and, and find a way to modify the system a little bit so that we do try and accomplish as much of that as we can. Maybe it's not possible, I don't know. Again, the proceedings and the rules of the council are, are yours. Yeah, they should be yours too. Don't, it seems to suggest that what we do is unique. I mean, the legislature does this. The public hearing is just that. It, people speak to the body. That's not the issue though, Tom. That's not, that's not what I'm challenging. I'm not questioning that in any way, shape, or form. Oh, the, the I'm question sorry, that, I misunderstand you then. No, the question that I'm having is, is the, the convenience factor of the, the, the purpose of having the public comment was to get that engagement and get that back and forth because we both, in, in separate forums, experienced the frustration that people have with the, the lack of interaction in those types of settings. <coughs> I mean, we've seen it on the school board side. I, 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 I witnessed it on the council side, too, where people get frustrated with that. So part of this, not the only purpose, but part of this process, at least in, in, in our mind, was to help try and engage on that level some way, somehow. So I think the, to your point of there's no difference, really, between a, a, whether we do the, the public comment then or the public comment two weeks later, I do think there is a difference because I think if you're in the, in the discussion phase and you can alleviate a lot of that, that information up front, the public comment then may not be some of the heated rhetoric or misinformation that we've historically seen in the past. I'm not saying everybody gets up there like that, but we've, we've all seen instances where that's happened. So I don't, I don't understand how in the last half hour is public comment. Mm -hmm. How, how do you go about rebutting statements that are made in that public comment session? You don't. But the, but, the, but the point though, Bill, is if someone comes across, let's say, I'll use an example from last year, okay, a, a real world example last year for the school board. You guys gave away furniture. You gave away hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of furniture and, you know, that's money that should have gone in the budget, you should have sold it. Someone gets up at the podium and says they have every right to do that. that. If we're in a if we're in a Q and A session, someone gets up and says that, we then have the opportunity to say, you know what, I understand why you might think that way, but let me explain to you how this really how this happened and help alleviate some of those concerns. So at least that person doesn't walk out of the session going, they gave away hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment, or people in the audience don't go away thinking that same thing. It doesn't change the process or the structure or the format or anything like that, but it does help communicate a little bit better, I think. Yeah, and, where, and, where, and, and I could see a, a discussion question and answer, question and answer, and then somebody comes up and says, well, you know, we didn't talk about the furniture. Well, <laughs> there's still that the, possibility. You gave away the darn furniture. And you've already moved into the part where right. you're not responding. Sure. So, and but, it, look, this is never going to alleviate everybody's concern all the time, but I think at least it's going to help some of that. Okay, because I was just trying to, I, I was I trying to balance I, people processing information mm -hmm. and then coming back with more thoughtful comments in the public phase a week later. That was 
kind of what caused me to sort of gravitate towards that as being a better public model. Mm -hmm. but, but I'd like to raise an issue that, and you know, we've made representations. These, these meetings have been public. <coughs> we made commitments to each other as a group. Yeah. And I agree. I mean, I think part of what we had committed to, if people ask questions, we were going to respond to the questions asked, and that was our opportunity to address inaccuracies or whatever it may be, misunderstandings. Yeah. And I think we've made representation both to each other and to our constituents that have been watching and participating. Is this the right time to make a change? That's what I struggle with. It feels like we've changed direction, and I'm not comfortable with that. I don't understand. And so I have a the that might help. Um, we do have, uh, after the public forum on the 29th, the next meeting is May 6th, which is the town council meeting, which is when we're proposing to have a proper public hearing under law. Then the next meeting after that is the joint town council school board workshop. Is there a way that we can use that meeting on the 13th to <coughs> circle back and dispel some of the misinformation that may arise on the 6th, if that's what our I don't. I, I mean, I think we all, as as public officials, we have the opportunity to interact with people whenever they so choose. It's not the question of of being restricted with responses. In my mind, it's a question of of convenience and trying to avoid as much of the of the of the misinformation up front as we can. We'll never we'll never avoid all of it. That's very clear. But, uh, but and and again and and, and again, uh, you know. It, I think ideally, if we could combine the two, I think that would be the best logically and, and, and from a communication standpoint, if there are requirements from the council side of things, and that's why I said that's your process and procedure, if there are requirements on that side that don't, that don't allow that to happen. Our requirements aren't any different than yours, I'm not sure. Uh, well, yeah, in my frustration, there's nothing new here. We've, we've had the same information, so we've made misrepresentations, which I think is just inappropriate. But if nothing's different, oh. then why are we right. changing the format to right. not have the public hearing at the end of the session. Right. Good question. There it's are more other counselors that have yeah. from the same. So, so I think okay. we need to bring something in perspective. We can still have a public comment section. Right. It just won't constitute a public hearing on behalf of the town council. Right. So it doesn't necessarily change the format. It changes the impact of what we're doing only because it won't constitute the public hearing. So we can right. still have the public comments. Mm -hmm. It won't be one where we everyone gets off stage, town council comes <coughs> on, Jessica <coughs> opens it up, it's a <coughs> meeting, we do attendance, mm -hmm. and then it becomes an official public hearing. We still have the public right. hearing on May 6th, so it doesn't necessarily have to change. I, all that's clear. Again, and I'm not, it's not a procedural issue. I'm not saying that people aren't going to have the opportunity to make comments and people aren't going to have an opportunity to give feedback. I'm, my only point is that my understanding of moving forward, and it's not enough for me to derail the process in any way, shape, or form, or, or object to anything that's happening. I thought the process here was to try and make it as convenient and as effective and as open as possible. And, and, and I, I'm not saying that we're not accomplishing that. I just think by separating out the two, we lose some of the effectiveness of what we were trying to do. Not saying that it, 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 not one, isn't, one isn't wrong, one isn't right. Um, if nothing's changed and there's no different, I'm trying to, to, to understand the reason for the change because to, to Peter's point, we have got, been going, moving forward with the understanding that this was kind of how we were presenting this and, and we were under the oppression I, I was. Well, at least I mean, that, and, and the rest that, of the council. And the rest that, of the council that, that stretches it because what we're having is the opportunity for a unique opportunity to ask questions and get answers. That's never existed. That's, that's, the, that's the thrust of it. Bill, he, we, Bill, let's let's be honest. We, Sean was more than open with the council, sharing with the council all along what our plans were. No one expressed any concerns. But I don't think we're at the nth hour. We've communicated, and now we've changed. And that's no. We, we I haven't had a council meeting. Think, we haven't had. I don't think we have. I think Bill, Sean has shared this think, every night. Go but back. I'm to telling you, I think it's a better. It's better to have a so, additional public hearing on May 6th. What if you do? Can you, you do both. You should have said that months ago. Can you do both? Do you have to have only one public well, hearing? I mean, I, we have to have one. Have I know, but that's what I'm saying. Can, oh, you, yeah. can you have both? Can you do one that that's night and then do another one on the same? When Sean says there's a, there's a public input opportunity, because yeah. people are they're going to ask their question, but they're also going to preface it with their remarks. They're going to provide their public comment. People aren't going to be standing up uh, at the end and say, well, I didn't want to ask a question. You know, I'm just making a public statement. They'll, 
they'll get in line. The, the, but the challenge, the challenge that I see, Bill, again, is is there are you know we get pushback a lot from people in the community. Their lives are busy. People are hectic. Things are crazy. We live this stuff every day. We have multiple meetings on a regular basis. It's no big deal for us, within reason, to have multiple meetings about the same issue time and time again. When we're asking for public comment, when we're putting time aside, we really, I think, it, we have to be somewhat respectful of people's time and to say, look, you've got to come to three different meetings in order to get your, get no, your, get your you point. No, you show up at any one of them. Right. Right. I mean, the broad, what, what you're missing is this is a broader opportunity, more, not a more narrow opportunity. But this is the only opportunity where they would have an opportunity to get somebody to answer them. But that's well, no, the public comment right. section. Not, not, not in the comment section, but in the question but, and but, answer. But, so but if you're doing that, and then, but right, that, and that's I get not that. changing. Okay, but no, again, again. Okay, I, I don't know how many different ways I can say it. Or I've how heard many it. Times I can I've heard it every time you've said it. If you if you're going to have people come to an event, and, and maybe they can't make it, but right. they could make it on May sixth. Right. So how do you de so so you've deprived them of the opportunity? No, they all have the opportunity to question us at any step of the at any step in the process. We all get emails, we all get phone calls all the time. That's not the issue. So the issue then again is if this is not a major issue, then then uh, is it possible to have multiple com multiple public comment sections? Is there a restriction against that? Could we have a public comment at the end of because we I did ask a question. To, to, uh, we, I don't get the I don't public, think I don't, I don't know why hearing, we want the public, public comment hearing. I think is what you're saying. You want a public hearing? No, this is on April 29th and another public hearing on May 6th. Here's what I'm saying. We to, again to Peter's point. We from the very beginning of this process, we have said if we're going to do this, we're going to try and find a way to have two components of this meeting. The first component of this meeting is going to be the presentation of our budgets and the Q&A interaction that we haven't had up until this point, and that's unique. The second portion we were going to have was the public comment that would fulfill the legal obligation to the town council. So if I'm John Q. Public, I may not have a question, but I may want to express my opinion to the town council at that time. So if I don't have a question, I can still get up with the full council well, present there and say, I, I, this is what my concern, I've heard everything, this is what my concern is, okay? I don't, if, I don't think anybody has an expectation at this present time that this is anything more than the opportunity to have questions that answered and asked. I thought this was also fulfilling the, I'm calling it the public hearing, yeah. the required public yeah. hearing, X number right. of days no, before the blah, 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 blah. Right, okay. raise some logistical and legal questions as to whether it would right. constitute a public, yeah. right. public hearing. And right. it will not, is what you're saying? So, uh, it can. Oh, it can, okay. I think it presents some logistical yeah. challenges, right. but I think it yeah. can, yeah. But it can, but the, uh, uh, again... The question is, do we want it to? That's, re that's, right. really, right. that's right. really where we're at, right. And, and again, I think from this point, I, I mean, to Peter's point, it, it, it's not a... It, I'm not going to sit here and say this whole process is, is moot now. It's, it's irrelevant. It's still very relevant. But to Peter's point, I think we've, you know, who did we, how many, how broad do you think this has been it, to, to the public that, that, that we're, I mean, I, as far as I can tell, what the public is understanding is we're going to have a forum mm -hmm. at which questions and answers are going to be the kind of the focal point mm -hmm. of the presentation. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. And that was always the unique aspect of this. Yeah, but it wasn't the only aspect of it, though. But, 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 you know, but the other was, was just that, that was the unique aspect, that right. we were going to all be there. See, it was the key, key aspect. But it wasn't the only one, though. And that's well, why I'm saying the key well, aspect... Uh, actually, I mean, we're, 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 we're getting way off base yeah. of this. I know. Really I, let's keep in I, mind one thing. So uh, on both of our sides, we represent a minority of the bodies in which we serve. Right. So it's up to the majority of the bodies that we serve to mm -hmm. determine whether or not we move forward with any particulars. All I can suggest is on our side is that our procedure says that the council has to approve when that public hearing is. That item is an agenda item that's going to be on the first meeting in April. Right. Um, I know that there's going to be the same conversation and same input. Um, I've heard what you've said. Thank you. um, I have a little bit of a balanced approach to this only because keeping the public comment section in here is still valuable it does still serve its purpose as well as having the meeting. I don't disagree that changing course is a little bit challenging when, not, when you didn't know that it was going to happen, but I can get over it very easily because I'm still going to get the public comment at that session. Mm -hmm. And we're still going to have the chairs, or at least um, I just heard that Jessica might not be able to attend, but we'll have Jean Marie and um, Donna Bealey sitting up there to help us as well. So there is representation from our board 
So I think that we still accomplish it. It's not perfect. And I think that your comment about lessons learned after this is how do we make next year better? Mm -hmm. And this is part of that conversation is how do we make the scheduling piece better? Yep. So um, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I, I have a kind of a feeling right now it's kind of balanced. I haven't been able to talk to all of the counselors. But um, this will be shared. This will definitely be shared. So I think for now, based on the input, um, I would want to keep actually the public comment section still in there at 30 minutes. Um, and that way we can make one, as well as we should, by the way, think about, uh, Tom, the frequency in which that uh, the video will be shown on TV so that it can be shown more frequently so people can view it. And we can also advertise when that's going to be on you know, the community cable. This is the, a, a table of this session? Yes. Yeah. That way the questions and answers, the engagement, as well as the comments at the end can be shared with everyone. And we, 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 <coughs> excuse me, we still have to come up with a mechanism for feedback for comments that or questions that we can't answer there. Right. Um, we have to determine whether we're going to do emails or we're going we to answer them in session or how we're going to get that information out or a combination of those, those, those and things. And it could be that the council at their next at that meeting where they approve the, when the uh, public hearing is, may actually keep it on April 29th, right? Yeah, they could. So yeah. um, if you're able to do technologically, if you're able to do a, a forum, uh, if Sean's able to set up that type of functionality, it, it's also possible that at a later date you could open that up and make that interactive. Um, and to talk to Sean about it, but it would be a way to get back to people and, and they answer questions. You can have multiple access for them, or you can have just submit something and it comes to us, but there's no response. Sounds like you know a lot more about it than I <laughs> <laughs> Please, you can it for Sean. <laughs> but, but I think we also we were talking also about not just getting the information back to the individual, trying to find a way to transmit all oh, of that uh, stuff out to broadly with the you know, questions that were asked. Is it, here's the responses that we were given to. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 that was a good problem because that's been right. an Achilles heel. Yeah. Yeah. And I think to Christine's point, I mean, th that is the biggest challenge when people get up here and they make comments, no matter what it is, whether it's the budget or whether it's about your police chief or whatever, whatever it's about. How do you respond to that type of thing? Sometimes whether or not you really want to respond is the other thing. So I know that as chair of the finance that um, I'm going to be taking notes of questions and statements so that we can do the research and then at the very least bring it back to our joint follow-up session mm -hmm. as well as to the finance committee's continuing session so that we can incorporate the answers to that or at least uh, you know, correcting any wrongs and supporting any correct analysis type of thing. So I know I'll give that dedication to it. So and, and it, is, it is a challenge. I remember last year with that issue with the furniture that I believe it was Donna got up as a citizen and, yep. and actually responded to it. So, you know, some of those inaccuracies that come up, you know, various people can catch. Right, the, the mm -hmm. failings of the public comment, you know, when someone stands on the podium, comes both ways. I mean, on the public side, they, have, they ask questions and they honestly want to know an answer, but right. they don't get it. Right. And that's, that's a frustration on your side. I'm sure the biggest concern is when there's a factual inaccuracy, whether it's intended or not. There are ways to correct that, whether it's through the chair or whether I know on the council's agenda, I have an opportunity to speak after public comment, mm -hmm. as do counselors, and very often counselors will make a note and use their time to correct something that was said from mm -hmm. the podium. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's ways to address it, but it's less than perfect method. Of, uh, yeah, uh, granted, absolutely. Well, communication. It's a mental not, process. It's uh, not communication. That's the problem. I, right. <laughs> exactly. It's one side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, with that, um, anything else regarding the actual schedule? We could, George. We could update. Uh, we did meet with Kevin Friedman last Friday. George, do you want to provide an update on that? Yeah, you can do it. I'll chime in. Well, just generally, Kevin is uh, <coughs> certainly very capable, very excited. Uh, he didn't. Uh, we reviewed this, and we encouraged him to take it back and get back to us in any mm -hmm. changes. But I, I don't expect we'll see much of anything. No. Is he going to co co uh, moderate with Karen, or, or I think somebody else? do the moderation. I think Karen may be kind of his right hand. Okay. I, I thought it was maybe a table next to the podium where she could help. Um, Pre-screen the questions and organize them in top yep. um, um, yeah, just, just to make sure the evening's uh, fluid and, mm -hmm. and on point. One thing I did notice, I was at a uh, college uh, seminar last night for the high school. Um, they did have, uh, I don't think they were, wi maybe they were wireless mics. I'm not sure if they were wireless or they were, but they're bodies, so everybody, we don't need a central mic to pass around, I think, at least on the stage. 
stage of so the I think we'll, we'll, we should be, yeah. I, I assume that we would be able to access that stuff and, mm -hmm. and use it. And so that might get, free us up a little bit in terms of having people out in the, running around with the, the mobile mics. And there will be some just uh, some final details to sort through. Uh, I think our intent is to have our senior staff at hand, ready at hand, front row kind of thing. Yep. Uh, probably for time and efficiency, we have them stand uh, in turn and address the audience, but probably speak from their from their seat as opposed mm -hmm. to take the time yep. to put the podium back yep. down. That's, mm -hmm. that's going to add 10 minutes of dead time in the session. Right. But if we have the mobile mic, we can just right. pass it around. Uh, so I think all that can be worked out, and I think uh, Kevin is, is really the right guy for, for the job. He'll keep yep. it running as smoothly as anyone could. Good. Um, the only item that we would probably want to, uh, depending on how things happen, is to keep in mind that footnote number four, at least in the description here, might have to change a little bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we could modify yep. that. Let's, wait, let's get through next Monday or next Wednesday night and find out how that all shakes out and modify this. Mm -hmm. We still have a month, remember, right. um, before this event. We do. I, I just want to try and get you know to our marketing or, or messaging piece. I'd, I'd like to try and wrap it up and get it out as quick as we can to give at least some lead time and then the follow-up process rather than wait a week ahead of time and have people go, oh, I, I didn't have time to plan for this or I didn't hear about it or, you know. Right. Yeah. It goes fast. It does. It does. Real fast. Uh, with that, uh, so the next item, if we're all set on that, the next item I think was the slide um, review of the slides uh, for our presentations where neither one of us are really prepared to do that at this particular time. Um, so <laughs> I, <didn't see> <laughs> I thought I should get started, but <laughs> I was going to make up numbers and leave you <laughs> Put X's in the slot. Exactly. Here's where we're at. Do a pie chart that has no real numbers in it. I um, think the key will be to be able to stay at that macro level. Field yes. And introduce the big themes, big picture ideas, and inevitably the Q and A will take us into the weeds in a hurry. So uh, I, we don't need to start there. I, I, I like the five-minute format just to force us yeah. to keep that 50,000-foot view. Um, I, I mean, we can stretch it a little bit if we have to, but I, I, that would be my concern as I'd get up there and start digging into seven figures and factors, right. and each factor affected this and that and the other thing, right. and you know, keep it. You know, maybe like we say, we'll come up with a, a, a framework for the slides, sure. put school data in one set, yeah. town data in another set, and then we can just kind of get as close to apples and apples as we can from from that. This is their session, right? I mean, it seems to me, with the exception, well, before talking to town or school officials, we should be talking about something that someone has asked us. That exactly. Yep. Ask yep. Yep. That's what we might perceive they should be. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Sure. You know, one thought for some of the slides, I, I don't know about the rest of you, but I've gotten a lot of emails from folks, and I think the mood of at least, you know, it's hard to tell whether they represent everybody, but, you know, with 3,000 kids in school and 9,000 households, majority of folks don't have kids in the school system. But people are really saying, please, 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 you know, reel in taxes. So I think people are going to be focused. So I think what they're saying is there must be some efficiencies you look for. There must, and it applies to both of us. So anything I think we can address on the slides, and we've taken a look at, you know, efficiencies and doing what we can because I think we're going to be pushed really hard on what have we done to keep the budget increase. I mean, we already know there's some things out there that are going to cause an increase. Yeah. But I think there's going to be, I think that is probably the anxiety that a lot of people are feeling is I really don't want my taxes going up much more than CPI or something else. And like I keep getting there's got to be things we don't need to do. So however we can address that I think would be really helpful to say, yep, we've looked at it and yeah, I, I mean, I, both sides I, of the house. I, I think that's a, that's a great preparation for the Q and A because we know. I mean, we clearly we know there are going to be some. As we talked about, we know there's going to be a certain line yeah. of questioning that's going to come for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I think you know, from us, it's you know where we tend to focus quite a bit more on the expenditure side than the revenue side because that a lot of that is beyond our control. It's still something we have to. I think we have to make reference to because it, it's a factor, but you know. The, it's all entwined together. Um, but I, you know, take five of those slides. Maybe one of them is the, the the breakout. One's income. One's driving factors or something. I mean, we would see that. But I'd, I'd like to just kind of touch on the not try and anticipate the, yeah. the, the questions too much, but on the same aspect, be prepared for the response, but not not present the questions like we know there's going to be a question about technology. So I don't want to spend two and a half minutes in the presentation yeah. talking about the need for technology to try and 
get, you know, address those questions up front. I'd, I'd rather say, here's where we're at, here's our budget, here's our drivers, you know, here are the numbers as they shake out. Now we can talk about, can we, can we fix it, can we change those numbers? The pie is this big, how do we slice in it? That's really, I guess, the question that we're talking about. Anything else? I, I, I think that we're, we all, um, those of us who have uh, presented slides, which would probably include all of us here, uh, know that if there's five slides, it will not be five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Chris and Sean have to talk really fast. Yeah, I mean, that's it. I think people are going to have trouble absorbing the information anyways because they don't have much context. So I think you have to go super slow and you have to, you have to be just very, you know, repeat yourself. Sure. It's what about 15 minutes. I could see easily 10 or 15 for each of you. What if, what if we do this, though? If we, if we keep the slides limited to three or five or whatever, we have large, large blow-ups of the slides there, either on the side or behind us or something, or even keep a projector going with the information behind us. Yeah, and either, you know, have it just kind of on maybe a slow loop or something so people can still see the information. They don't have to sit there and I got to remember that, and you know, you, you know what I'm saying. Just some some way to kind of keep that information in front of them if they want to. Five slides, you could actually print it in advance. So we can have it. Yeah. yeah. Option. And maybe more, I don't know if it's more cost effective just to do a big poster and say slide one is here, slide two, three, four. Whatever, I don't know, whatever, whatever. But just some way to get that, keep that information in front of them, so we're not saying, you know, quick here it is. Okay, any questions? <laughs> It's an app for everything. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we'll get started on that, and then once we get the content into it, then let's review the actual presentation timeline, and we can always adjust it. It's not right. If we increase it, then something else obviously decreases. Um, and if anything, it would be probably the, the public comment rather than because I don't, I wouldn't want to reduce the Q and A section. Right. So you'd have to do that. No, and I think we we didn't we all kind of agree that we. We want to be cognizant of the time, but we weren't going to say, it's 9.30, guys, stop talking, right. we're done. <laughs> I mean, we could, obviously, but I mean, there would be a, a response to that as well, I'm, I'm sure. But, um, so, I mean, keep it within reason, but if we need a little more extra time on the back end, maybe we just we can, we can always take that there. If we I just think the sensitivity and the balance is that if it's, a, if it's a sort of a town hall session, the talking up front is minimal, and, right. and it's really... It's their venue. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you know, we may be able to, and Tom and I may put our heads together on this, we may be able to give sort of five, five important uh, components that, that maybe should be touched on Thank you quickly. <laughs> yeah. and, it is, and it is really more, you know, in getting ready for the session, here are some things that are, that are pretty important to keep in mind. Yeah. Um, and, and everybody who comes will have already been to the April 1st presentation, which is helpful. Awesome. And presumably witnessed or been part of each one of our, this, the town finance committee meetings that will have been four or five review sessions. So a fair amount of work will have been accomplished before this night. Cool. Excellent. Anything else? Um, the question is, uh, when is um, our next meeting? I guess would be appropriate to uh, go over.
27th. I mean, it's only two days before, but at this particular point, we should be pretty solid in where, our, where we're going for the 29th. I, I, I don't have a problem doing that. I would just say that maybe we, we have the format first and the data filled in first, and then we can share that without getting together. We can share that electronically, maybe? Yeah. Is that, is that feasible? Kind of love the slide presentation. The slide presentation, yeah. So instead of pulling the group back together to go through it, whether it's the four of us or so, or you guys sit down and get your form, and then we can, we can just disseminate that. If there are questions, we can address those individually, and then so we'll, if we get together on the 27th, it'll be more the logistics of how's the 29th going to work. Is that mean. fair? What do we get for finance committee meetings uh, of just the town finance? Pretty much goes with that calendar there. I mean, this is the budget review session. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, I think there is a regular finance meeting in April. I don't recall the date, frankly. So always the second Wednesday? Yeah, second Wednesday, so I mean, the when 15th. We, when we get back together, it will be because you've been, we both advanced our budgets and, and had that April 1st presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll have uh, pretty well finalized everything by uh, April the 29th, 1st. So, and we're meeting on the 8th. Well, we're also so, so we're the three of us are meeting on the eighth. Yes. Sorry, I had the wrong date. I don't know whether or not it makes any sense for all of us to to meet on the eighth because we'll everything will be pretty well organized. I think the, the question though is whether or not we'd be ready to show you the presentation because it's a, with his present with their presentation on the first. You only have one week. Yeah. It, so we're saying well, we're also meeting on the fourteenth. Fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. Tuesday, 14th. April fourteenth. Oh, I don't know. Yes. That's the day that the school board. It's the regular old finance committee review that we've always done, right? The fourteenth. Yes. And so yeah, it's yeah. sort of our session as a department of yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. So yes. That's the and next opportunity. See, that looks right. like it's sort of ready made. So. On the 14th. What time is that? What time is that session? These are all with one six. Four six. Four. So if we're all gathering on the 14th to begin with. Why don't we make that? Either before or after? Yeah. Before. I think before. I so are these just because I need a clarification? Are these the ones that used to be held in the morning that we all used yes, to come yes, to? Yes, okay, yes. I just wanted to. No, you're absolutely right. Okay, I'm, I'm like thinking. Well, wait a minute. Where did the morning meetings go? I think it depends on which chair is. Which one okay, exactly. I just wanted to make sure I was showing up at the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> at the right time. At the right time. time. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so the 14th. What time does their session start? Four. Yeah. Four to six. So why don't we start at 3:30 and spend a half an hour ironing out, you know, uh, what the Slides look like and yeah, that works. Uh, it works for me. I mean, I'm like a speaker in the yeah, That's yeah. fine. Yeah. So well, Chris and I's goal is that we'll have the presentation to you electronically beforehand, so that you can review it. Yep. Yeah. Give us feedback, and then by the 14th is to have pretty close to a final draft of that, and then solidify the calendar. Good. Yeah. Is that, I, like that. I mean, we have uh, half an hour with any group. That's uh, that's like doing five slides in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So we are we going to say here in this chamber? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So four fourteen at three thirty. Correct. Yeah. So you guys can practice in front of us. Yeah. Uh, I win everything, Ruth. You know that. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah. Any um, any other actionable items for us before I open for public comment? No. Public comment, sir. No. Are you sure? Um, with that, uh, we can move to adjourn. We haven't been this formal in a while, but since we're on TV, right? Yes.